Hi everybody, this is Pat in the paper closet. Thanks for stopping by, watching the video. Today I'm just making, I was fooling around making additional things for my mini album that we've been working on and I decided to make some magnetic bookmarks and some, I haven't made one yet, but an altered paper clip. And the bookmarks I made these are the bookmarks. They have a magnet on the inside. These are these tiny little magnets that I have. And it just holds close. So you put it over the edge of your page and it holds. You can push it all the way in, leave it hanging out a little bit. That's one. And I made this one. I glued it on a safety pin. Same thing, only the magnets are inside the paper on this one. Magnetic. All the way in, I'll leave it hanging out. You can also use these, I plan on putting them on some of the pages in our um, mini album. Here's another I made. This was the first one I made. I was using the large magnets. They're too big though. I like the smaller ones better. Same thing. Clips right on. All the way in or hanging out. On the side, on the top, wherever you want to put it. I'm planning on putting them maybe on some of the photo maps. I don't know, I'll see. Somewhere in there. And here's one more I've made. This is a little one. This one is the little tiny magnets. On the edge of the page, in or out, on the top, on the side, wherever you want to put it. So now I'm going to make, I've gathered up just a bunch of scraps from the papers from the book that we made, and that's what I'm using. And then I have some embellishments, I have some words, I have some tags. I have some reinforcements. Uh, I have some melted down perler beads. And that's about it. Pip oh, and some safety pins. Yeah, so I see. And a little bit of paper. So we'll see what we can come up with. Now to make the one, the altered paper clip. I don't have regular size paper clips. These are very small. But you put the smallest part of the paper clip on the inside. So you take any size piece of paper. I'm going to go with this size. You cut it back, fold it over, and open it up. Slide the paper clip, the smallest section, to the inside. And you're going to take your glue, put glue all over this one side here, on the paper clip also, so it holds into the paper. And just glue the whole thing. Okay, and I'll close it up. Put the paper clip in there, inside. Get it closed evenly. So you see on the back, you have the part that you would slip over the paper. This is how the paper clips work. So you have the back of the paper clip and the front is decorated. All right, so I figured on this one, I tore some paper, I inked the edges, I'm just gonna just glue a few strips of paper on here. This is an anything you wanna put on it deal. So I'm gonna glue those on. And 
this is just copy paper, remember I printed on. The base piece is cardstock. There's that piece. This piece. I did ink the edges. I don't do a lot of inking on things, but on this I thought it would look better than all the white edges. I'm glue that on right there. That'll be fine. Then I had one of these. I had these all these tags and banners I had made. I'm just gonna glue one of these on here, I think. Unless it's too big. Yeah, that might be too big. Let's see what else I have here. I have this reinforcement. Put that on it. Let me see what I have in this little bag. Words. I have to put words on them. I could get the bag open. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see. I have something small we want. This says place. This says today. We could cut that down. Memory. Oh, I like memory. I'm gonna put that on it. I'm gonna ink up the edges a little bit. Just to take away that whiteness on the edge. Very lightly. This is black soot distress ink I'm using. The ink pad. Okay, I'll put a little glue on the back of this. down. This is just a whatever you can find to put on these paper, scraps of paper, right, reinforcements, tags, banners, whatever you like. Ribbons. This one, where is it? Where's the one I tied? Yeah, this one I tied some what do you call this? Twine. Black and white twine on the top. And I just noticed my uh, little piece fell off. I probably lost it. The little black pearl. Or... I'll find it. I'll fix it. Okay, so we have our tag. We have our reinforcement. That's all we need. Now this I would put on the top of, say, a photo. Maybe in the corner. You see how it just slips over? It's the paper clip is on the back, slips over your page, or your photo, journaling card, whatever. I think that looks really cute. Okay, so we have that one. Now let's make, I'll show you how to make a magnetic one. We'll use this little piece of black. <clears throat> I'm going to fold it in half. This time it creased really good. I might have these itty bitty tiny magnets. I don't know if you can see how small they are. A piece of paper. They're very small. I don't even know the size. I've had these a long time, and they're really hard to use in a book. So I figured I'd use it on these bookmarks. Uh, by the way, these can also be refrigerator magnets. They stick to your refrigerator. So you would put some a note or whatever under it. Reminder, snap it shut, and the magnet on the back will stick to your refrigerator. Okay, now this one I'm gonna glue magnet. One on the inside, a little bit away from the edge. They don't want it close to the edge. 
take a little teeny tiny magnet. I got these on Amazon. I don't know the size. They're very thin and they're very tiny. Push it into the glue. Right about there. Once the glue is dry, they don't come off. I haven't had any problems with them. You can see they're very they're glued on there. There's one on the inside and the other one is on the outside under this tag. Very easy to put on that way. So I glued that one. I'm gonna make sure I have glue off so the top piece doesn't stick to it right now. I'm gonna take another magnet. Sticking to my safety pin. They're very strong. Okay, I'm gonna just drop it down. See? Now I can guess where that glue goes. And down here. It's gonna get covered up with something decorative. Paper, banner, tag. And it'll stick to the other magnet so you know it's on there correctly. And then you let them dry. A few minutes. See, it was not long enough. I never have problems doing magnets except on the videos because I don't allow them to dry long enough. Try again. some more glue. Now I'm not sure which side goes which. There we go. I know, but it's so small. Let's do it this way. Push it into the glue. Press it down. Sticking to my finger. I'm going to put a piece of paper over it keep it from okay temporarily that'll stay in there now we need something for the front uh, I could either tear some more paper I have all this leftover paper from my book I need a piece of this torn edge on this. A little bit too long. Take some off the end. That'll be good. And, let's see. We could put one of these on it. I could put journal on it. We could use this in a journal or an organizer or a planner. I'm going to cut this down. Oh, that look good. And, let's see, I have a red reinforcement here. Red, black. Thank you. Put that on there. Move the tag down. Okay. I'm just going to glue this on. Let me ink this up a little bit. Now a little 
little bit of the edges is going to be showing, but that's okay. Now the magnet is under there. Don't press it down too hard on the magnet. It's going to be very noticeable. It'll make a big bump. Just make sure some of the paper on the sides are glued down. Can you see there? My magnet is right here. I'm trying to keep it. It'll, well, it'll stay. Once the glue dries, it'll stay in there. But this will hold it down so it can't come out. Alright, that's good. Now my little tag, which I've lost already. There it is. No, nope, that's what I cut off. And here it is. I should ink that up also. I don't like the white edges on these. They just stand out too much. Just a little bit of ink. Cover up the white. Okay. Some glue. Put this right at the bottom. And right here. And a little reinforcement. Cut at the top. Okay, now let's see if I'm making it separate now. Yeah. There we go. It's dry, stuck. And it closes. And then we have another smaller one. And holds very nicely. I'm gonna cut this corner off sticking out. I don't know if you can hear there are kids outside making a lot of noise. Very good. So now we have another. Still haven't found my little black dot. I it might. Could be on the floor, as usual. So there's that one. There's this one. <laughs> my magnets are sticking to the magnet. Be careful where you put these. They, they just stick to anything and you'll never find them. And this one. This one with a little safety pin on there. This one, oh, I want to glue this onto this one. That's what I want to Just give it a little bit more color. So these are the magnet, magnetic bookmarks. This one, this one, and the latest one I just made. That's those, and here is our altered paper clip. This doesn't open or anything, don't try to pry it open. It just slips over the page. Like so. So there you have it. So I hope you try these. Take a bunch of leftover scraps and little bits of decoration and some magnets or paper clips. They look very nice in your book. They had a little touch. Okay, so thank you very much. Thanks for coming today. I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button below and if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when the next video comes up. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.